only on 10 News. Total terror. Um, it happened so fast. That terror was a hawk swooping down from the sky, attacking him and his dog while they were at SeaWorld. And tonight, 10 News reporter Michael Chen discovered that he's suing SeaWorld because that hawk was hired by the park for a very specific reason. Michael? Well, of course, we know there are many, many shows at SeaWorld, and we are told that this two-foot-long hawk was brought in with one job in mind. Instead, a park visitor says the hawk decided to go for blood. You know, we don't know if a talent got him here, if it, you know, got a hold of him down here. Like Yogi, this. a therapy dog, was wearing this jacket. They had a hold of him when the two-year-old Pomeranian poodle mix was really dragging him across the ground. Suddenly, found himself in the fight of his life. Total terror. It began with total fun. Janet Ravel, her husband Robin, who suffers from a progressive neurological disease, and Yogi. Yogi is everything to me. We're visiting SeaWorld in February after a full day near the shark encounter. Just out of nowhere. I was walking with Yogi right between me and my wife, Janet. A blur of movement and a screech. The hawk just came down and just pounced on him. Yogi suffered puncture wounds in his stomach, legs, and tail. Ravel tried to fight the hawk off and says he got scratched in the shin. For Yogi, surgery followed and a diagnosis, valley fever, a fungal infection. The veterinarians are saying that um, the talons from the hawk introduced valley fever directly into the bloodstream of the dog. Ravel's attorney, Daniel Petrov, just filed a lawsuit against SeaWorld. He says the hawk and a handler nearby were hired by the park to chase away gulls from the shows. Even though they, they may be trained, they're uncontrollable. You never know when they attack. Now, SeaWorld says it does not comment on pending litigation, but says safety is a top priority. Meanwhile, Yogi after $8,000 in medical bills, is still being treated for valley fever. Ravel, who lives in Oregon, is also being tested for the disease. We're live in Mission Bay. Michael Chen, 10 News. Now, a hawk attack. That would just come out of nowhere at SeaWorld during the day. Thank you, Michael. More on that to come, surely.